Welcome back fans to another beer review with me, Ruku, chilled here on the sofa. Yeah, I'm here on the sofa today because I've got some washing or laundry going on and I thought why not disturb the video. So, you've heard. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. You, <laughs> you heard of Curious Brew, which I did a few months back and uh, they were from London, England and they were winemakers that then brought it out into the beer market. Well now you've uh, you got a range of Curious Brews, so you've got Curious Brew Cider and Curious Brew that I had, and now you've got this. This cap does not want to stay on. You have Curious Brew Session IPA. There you go, Curious Brew Session IPA. The question mark with the corkscrew, as I mentioned in the last Curious Brew video, was because they are winemakers and that is the thing that you, you know, corkscrew, you can pull the bottle out. Um, right, so this is a 330 and comes in at 4.4. If we can see that, 334.4. So, this is a session IPA with three complementary hops, a homage to the power of three, used to create a Bordeaux champagne and Cotes de Rhine wines. The result perfect balance and zesty IPA with refreshing finish. Wow, I'm looking forward to this already. Curious Brew Session IPA. And here's what I poured earlier. There it is. Let's move this bottle somewhere. There it is. Look at that. It is typical IPA colour. Beautiful. Golden. Dark ambery. Head minimal. Combination virtually, yes, yeah, just, just just about there, but not quite. Right, so I'm looking forward to this because the last Curious Brew I had was absolutely amazing, and ever since, it's going to be one of my favourite beers um, that I will keep coming back to. I don't often say that about many beers, trust me. But here we go, here's for the smell. I'm not sure about that, let me just... Well, it's around a little bit. Yeah, so there's zesty fruits, and again, coming from the um, green grape smell as well. Slight bit of musk in there, but hopefully it doesn't uh, deter the nose smell and the aroma is that bad. So, again, just the fruits and green grape. The colour on this is, is so good. Right. Cheers. Very, very light fans. Very light. I don't know what. Ooh, gotta try and do this without this uh, going wrong. And if you can, there we go. Be a good camera. Right. I'm not sure what they're getting at here. I don't think it's uh, is what they say. Zesty. Is zesty the right word for this? Possible. I mean, there's something there that gives you um, a different mouthfeel completely, different flavour feel also, and I guess zesty could be the right word for it, although to me when I think of zesty I think of lemon, orange peel, that kind of thing. It's so fresh, so clean. Incredibly light bodied. I'd say light to almost watery, but that doesn't matter because this is quite refreshing. You get the refreshment you need. Uh, I can see the, what they're kind of going on about about champagne, uh, the power of free use to create champagnes and, and wines. I mean, I'm not into my wines and champagnes, but no, a lot of people are out there. This to me does almost reminisce of a champagne feel, the mouth feel of the champagne where the bubbles are just going and going and going, and you almost without that crispness that you get from a champagne. This doesn't deliver the Christmas. This instead delivers a sort of light zestiness, very light body, and then the aftertaste is of um, just a clean refreshment, 
not many flavours there, but again, very non-offensive. <laughs> very, very non-offensive. Look at that. Yeah, so what you've got then is quite an easy going beer made by winemakers that give it a nice different taste, um, non-offensive, very clean, very clean, clear, refreshing, zesty, basic flavoured I guess, but I like it. To me it gives something different to the market. Almost like a, like a, I want to say cooking apple, something like that, you know, sort of that sharpness at the end. Other than that, I think it's really nice, uh, and I'll say that about some beers, not every beer, but most beers, but I'm telling you the truth, this is one to purchase. Go out and buy it. There it is, Curious Brew Session IPA. What a score it. I would score this, uh... I don't know, I, I think I'd, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10, so 6.5 out of 10. Good stuff. Join me next time, fans, for more beer reviews. And as always, come in, like, comment, subscribe, even hit the bell button on the subscribe so you can turn on all notifications to my latest videos. And come and chill with me here on the sofa and drinking beer. Good times.